Hello, on this video, I'm going to show you how to add items and get the selected item from a list view. And for that, I'm going to create a new Windows Form project. And now I'm going to add a list view on my form. So I'm going to drag and drop the list view. And now right here, I want to click on this little arrow and I want to edit columns. So I'm going to add a column and this column header, I'm going to name column header name. And I want to add another column header. age and the text is going to be age as well click ok and now i'm going to right click and click on properties and right here on the properties on view i'm going to select details this is very important if you don't do that you won't see all the roles that we're going to add later I'm going to give it a name to the list view. So list view person. And now right here on the form, I'm going to double click. And once I do that, it creates the form loads method. And on this form load method, I'm going to insert items into the list view. So let's start inserting items. So first I'm going to create a list view item. LV1 equals new list view item and then the name is going to be apple and zero. Now on the LV1 dot sub items add I'm going to add the age of the apple. So the age of the apple is going to be now I'm going to add another one. So list view item LV2 in this case equals new list view item. And this time I'm going to add Joe and then LV2 dot sub item dot add and Joe is going to be 50 years old and I'm going to add the third list view item so the same process and now let's add all these three items to the actual list view so the list view person dot add dot item dot add and I'm going to add and then LV2 and then LV3. So here I create the items and here I actually add the items into the list view. So I'm going to run my project just to see what I have so far. So here's my list view and here's the items that I have. If you notice right now we can select multiple items. I don't want that. I want to select a single item only. So for that, I'm going to go back to the list view, right click on properties, on multi select, I want to put false. I'm going to run again to test it. And for now, I can only select one item at a time. So now I want to create a button here. And then I'm going to put a label. And all I want is to populate this list view, click on the button, and then whatever the user selected, I want to put it right here on the label. So right, right here on the button, I'm going to double click on the button, and that creates a method for me, a button click. And now I'm going to read the selected item from the list view. I'm going to declare two strings, one 
string selected name equals list view person dot selected items and I know I only have one item selected because I have multi selected equals false so then I know the index is zero because I only have one dot sub items and then I want the index zero because zero is the name and then dot text so that gives me the name and if I want the age string age equals LV person dot selected items and it's still the select items zero dot sub items and now I know that the next item is one dot text now age is usually a integer but here I have it as a string only for testing purpose and now I'm gonna set this value to the label that I created so I'm gonna go back to the label and see what I named it so properties name LBL tests so LBL test dot text equals selected name plus I'm gonna put a space and then age run the program so I'm gonna select on Joe and click on the bottom and then it reads Joe right here to this label or Bob and so on so that's all for this video thanks for watching this is easy and you can do it